endometriosis is a women's disease where the lining of the uterus which gives women a period every month normally and is shed away also grows inside the woman's body most commonly in the pelvis and instead of the period blood coming out the period blood is inside the woman's body and the blood irritates the area and eventually it causes pain and scarring and damage the main symptom of the endometriosis is pain and this pain is particularly bad at the time of periods however when the endometriosis progresses this pain can become constant and unbearable as a result of this pain it can cause other effects for example women could be fatigued tired and uh, as this is also a bleeding inside the woman's body and growing at abnormal areas it could also cause pain at the time of uh, opening the bowels passing urine there are other symptoms of endometriosis for example it can come could be diagnosed as is part of infertility women having difficulty in getting pregnant and uh, also sometimes it can make cysts or lumps on the ovaries so women can present with lump suspected cancer for example even because of there are large cysts on the ovaries the rare symptoms include endometriosis tissue this abnormal lining being present in bizarre areas for example we have seen cases on the diaphragm lungs occasionally have seen women having bleeding every month from the umbilicus or cesarean section scars there have been several theories put forward however none of them is scientifically proven the commonest theory very classical one is called retrograde menstruation which essentially means that endometriosis blood which normally is comes away from the uterus through the vagina also seeps through the fallopian tubes into the woman's pelvis and starts growing there and that's how it progresses and can sometimes cause cyst on the ovaries the other theories include we call it as a metaplasia where under the effect of the hormones the cells in the pelvis can turn into uh, endometriosis or endometrium like cells as they share the common origin there is other theory called lymphatic theory where the uh, it is postulated that uh, endometriosis cells can be carried by the lymphatics onto distant places and it can grow there and finally there is also a theory where um, it is said that women predisposed to have endometriosis are genetically determined because some of the cells wander off at the time of development and start growing under the effect of female hormones uh, into endometriosis i must emphasize that endometriosis cells because they are similar to the lining of the uterus they feed upon the female hormones estrogen and generally the progesterone stops them from growing so that's why endometriosis tend to regress when the woman go through the menopause and also regresses when the woman is pregnant endometriosis is a very common disease and cancer among women with endometriosis is relatively rare however there are some studies which have associated i'm emphasizing is association not a cause uh, of uh, uh, some women with endometriosis are likely to have certain forms of cancer of the ovary so in general the chances of having turning the endometriosis into cancer is very low 
No, endometriosis will not go away on its own. As we have dis discussed in the what causes it, it is a progressive disease. The woman keeps on having periods, the period blood keeps going there and growing. So most of the time it gets worse over a period of period of time. However, in some cases it can be put away for a few years. For example, pregnancy hormones can stop it from growing. Similarly, once we treat it, it goes away temporarily but can grow back. That's why all treatments for endometriosis should incorporate the, the strategies so that it does not come back.